This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He's out to the 30, and he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. The Eagles have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be aligned to take him out of the game. And that's to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers. You're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on their own 30. Draw here. Gets out to around the 38. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. That makes it third and three. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. Slides down to the ground. He didn't get a bunch of yards, but it's better that he protects himself rather than taking a big hit on that play. It's now third down and long. 13 yards to go for the first down after the sack. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle at about the 39-yard line. It was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. Defense and their short yardage package. Gets to about the 37-yard line. The running back gets the first. Well, the defense did a pretty good job there and didn't give him much room. Unfortunately for them, there was just enough space to eke out two yards he needed for the first down. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. From the 24-yard line, first down. Away. It's an intelligent play by the defenders. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. This is the tenth play of this drive. And he's level at the 29. And they'll probably try to throw here as they line up on third down and 14. Throws complete, big loss. That makes it fourth and long. Trying to take the lead by a field goal. Kicks away. And he nails the long field goal.
one's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. That's good for a game of one yard. That makes it second and ten. From their own 35-yard line. Second down. He's on the run. He's tackled the 38-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Fires out to his receiver. And he's taken down around the 44-yard line. You know, this is just amazing. You spend six days planning as a defensive coordinator for one guy, and then you get the other quarterback. So now what happens? First and 10, ball on the 44-yard line. the 44. No game. That makes it second and ten. And he's tackled at about the 31. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 31 yard line. Very good tackle in space. Gaining two yards. That makes it second and eight. On the run. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Push him out at the 23. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. We've played one. The Eagles in front, 3 0. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. He's looking to tie the ball game up with this one. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's out to the 30. He makes it to the 32-yard line. Watching this freshman work, you get a sense of what kind of player he can be. You know, you hear a lot of coaches talk about a ball hawk. Well, this is a classic example of a young man that just has a feel who always seems to be able to make plays for this defense. Well, between the sacks, the knockdowns, and just the overall pressure they're putting on this quarterback, this is going to be a game this quarterback's going to want to forget in a hurry. In a game this tightly contested, it comes down to which defense is playing better. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Makes it out to about the 43. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 43. Gets out to around the 45. They go right back. 
back to him, and this time they get him in the backfield. This guy's out of the stand so quickly that he's really a nightmare to try to block. They found out right here on this play. From the 48-yard line, second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Out of bounds at the 46. by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. First and 10. Ball of the 22. He's got it out to his tight end. It's away from him. Touchdown. tight end. This guy can play some football. You bet he can. He's such an all-around player. He's just as good at blocking as he is at catching the football. That receiver was so wide open as a quarterback, you just don't want to blow. That's like having a wide open layup with nobody behind you and you go up and you miss a layup. You don't want that to happen to you as a quarterback. So the quarterback did a nice job of staying in rhythm, making the easy throw and the touchdown for this wide receiver. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 35-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Tailback brought down for a loss. That was a loss of two. That makes it six and ten. From their own 34-yard line, second down. He's got it with room to run. He goes out of bounds at about the 45. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. He's at the 40. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 28-yard line. From the 28-yard line, it's first down. the stop at the 20-yard line. That brings in second and nine. Setting up play action. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle made at the seven. A touchdown away from a tie. Touchdown. A 
short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. The extra point to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice eight play, 66 yard drive. And a touchdown as a result. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's out to the 30. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And they got him. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. They gain five yards there. Not a bad play. They gain five yards out of it, and they keep moving the defense back. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Quick throw. Incomplete pass. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open. And everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it. And you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball, and it was incomplete. And down he goes at the 33. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Slings it. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down at the 47-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 47. Quick strike to the receiver. And down he goes at the 40-yard line. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. They'll spread the field with five wide. the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Gains his way to the 30 yard line. Around the 23-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They come out in a five-wide set. Gets it. He's in space. He's taken down at the 14. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Throws quickly into the end zone, caught for the touchdown. A good football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. And he adds the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. There's a strike. 
complete. Tackle at about the 35. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Caught over the middle. He's tackled right around the 40. That's a game. First down. We played a half of football here. The Tigers with a touchdown lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses first and foremost did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half and you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of and and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes. Because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43. it out to about the 49. That makes it second and two. In the shotgun and five wideouts. They'll get him for a loss. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. He put, no, he faked it. And he just got drilled. Not sure about that play call as they fail on fourth down. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. From the 49-yard line, it's second down. They come out on an empty backfield. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. Third down. Gets 
gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's tackled at the 26-yard line. First down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Coming here. Fires to his receiver, first down. And he's taken down at about the 11. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. That makes it seven and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. And he gets the touchdown. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's out to the 30. Oh, man, did he take a hit. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. A one-yard gain by the halfback. From their own 36 yard line. Second down. Aaron and out long. And they make the stop at the 25. You know, the play action pass that time delivers a huge play. I think the defense was out of position. There was a one on one opportunity on the outside, and they took advantage of it. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Tackle made at about the 19-yard line. yards to go. Ball on the 11-yard line. There he goes! And they'll score! He splits the uprights with the extra point. 
Black there ready for the kick. And he's taken down at the 27. Both teams have really answered the bell here in the third quarter, sir. Exciting to see what these offenses have been able to do here. Be able to come out and score in your first drive. Tells you a lot about what they did during the half. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. From their own 25-yard line, second down. That's a great tackle to the 23-yard line. Sack makes this a fourth and very long. He really got a hold of that one. Brought down at the 49-yard line. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. 24-17, Tigers. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. From the 49-yard line, second down. throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. Brought down at the 46-yard line. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Boy, aren't they? They're so full of energy. It's almost scary. This defense has had success getting after the quarterback. This offense hasn't had any trouble moving the ball on the ground. Well, they are running it pretty well, so that wouldn't be a bad thing. You take the yards however you can get them. All the good plays from this defense has helped them into the lead. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. On the delay, he makes it to the 32 yard line. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on their own 32. Out of bounds, right around the 34. Call it a game of two yards. That makes it 37. They'll bring him down around the 44-yard line. Number 42 makes the set to go. That 
makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Gets it out to him again. He's knocked out of bounds at the 47. From the 38-yard line, first down. Less than three minutes in the game. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. That makes it second and six. And this is the eighth play of the drive. About the 25-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. From the 25-yard line, it's first down. Going right to his tailback. Not that impressive of a play. Let's see if they continue to employ the short passing game or if they decide to run the ball. Play the drive. And he throws it away. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Zips it to the back. About three yards that time on the screen. Gain of three yards. That brings us to open seven. And they sack him on fourth down. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just under two to go in the game. Tackle, the 27-yard line. That's a great play by the defense. There's nothing like a defense being able to slip off of a block, get into the backfield of the offense, and then make a play in the backfield to be able to create some momentum, possibly, for this defense. He's tackled the 39-yard line. Very well-designed play that time to give him a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. From their own 39-yard line, first down. The Eagles using their third and last timeout. And he's tackled after positive yardage. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team.
He fields the punt at the 16, and he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. The Eagles, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan, get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. And next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.